Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here. Hope everybody's doing amazing. And guess what? If you're not, you definitely came to the right channel. I'm a spellcaster, life coach, clinical hypnotherapist. I have another channel, Reprogramming of the Mind, where I focus on neuroplasticity and obviously clinical hypnotherapy. I teach people how to invoke and evoke all forms of demons. The list goes on, and I'm more than happy to assist you. This video is actually a video for one of my subscribers who asked me, can you use crystals in spell casting? You absolutely can. My favorite crystals that I like to use is obsidian, citrine, as well as rose quartz. I love to use rose quartz when I'm working with love rituals. Um, obsidian, I use it in many types of rituals, but specifically in protection rituals. And when I use those rituals in I mean, those crystals in my rituals, I will always recommend that the individual, my client, use and wear the similar crystal to correspond with the energy that I am creating within their reality. Okay, because at the end of the day, everything is frequency and vibration. So that is what I do. And when I use specific invocation techniques and, and evocation techniques with daemons, and other forms of entities, I like to use clear quartz. Clear quartz allows the energy to flow through purely and clearly, purely and clearly, so that nothing negative can seep through and the correct energies can move through as um, the crystal that I've just mentioned has a beautiful energy of purity. It has a lot of other purposes, but clear quartz is something I like to use after I have cleansed my area and now want to do an invocation. Besides other materials that I would use in an invocation, which I will not say it on this video, um, clear quartz is absolutely amazing. Crystals, if you're someone who has a deep understanding of crystals and you want to use it in spell casting, I say go for it. It's really going to amplify things. Stay blessed, guys. Bye for now.